I'm Gina Ferrandi and this is the Bite We Buzz, your roadmap to the shops, spots and services that cater to New York City pets and the people who love them. We're here at the Tompkins Square Dog Run on 9th Street between Avenues A and B where socialization is the name of the game, whether you are of the two or four-legged variety. New York City dog parents are a breed of their own. Confined to charming but somewhat claustrophobic city dwellings, many look to the city's expansive dog parks to provide the exercise and socialization their canines crave. For those who live in the downtown area, the Tompkins Square Dog Run has been a favorite spot for dog parents to congregate, connect, and cater to their four-legged friends. The Tompkins Square Dog Run, also known as the First Run, was the first of 55 plus dog parks opened by the New York City Department of Parks and Recreation in 1990. The run is managed by Friends of the First Run, a registered 501c3 community organization that sees to the needs of the park and community. In 2008, the dog park underwent a major restoration, and today the park boasts a state-of-the-art running surface, underground drainage, a large and small dog run, three swimming pools, picnic tables, and bath areas and hoses to spray off your dog before returning home. I'm here with Oscar and his human Steve, both of whom are regulars here at the first run. So I'm guessing there are several dog runs in the area, but what is it about Tompkins Square that makes it unique? Well, I think that there's two things that make this run unique. First is the facilities here. Uh, it was recently renovated. It is absolutely fantastic and very well taken care of. And the second thing is the people. The uh, people that come here are amazing. I've made many wonderful friends for myself as well as for Oscar and everybody uh, really cares about each other's dogs looks out for them and looks out for the run in general because it, it is uh, maintained by the community itself so so it's just as much fun for the humans to socialize as it is for the dogs absolutely there's times I think I come here more for me than him in certain <laughs> days but we'll keep that between us <laughs> so what are the best days and hours to come to the park? Well, I think it depends on what you're looking for for your dog. Um, if you really want a lot of interaction with other dogs, for your dog to play a lot, then earlier in the morning before work and right after work are usually the best times during the week. Uh, weekends are busy the whole time. Hmm. Now, my little guy likes to, uh, he likes it a little quieter, so we generally come a little bit more off hours towards the middle of the day. Are there any interesting events held here at the park? Well, yes, there is what I like to think of as the world-famous Tompkins Square Halloween Parade, but uh, it is the biggest in the city, and it really is uh, an amazing event because the creativity that people put into these costumes is absolutely, it's amazing and hysterical, and uh, I've been coming to it for at least eight years now, and I have never walked away from it feeling like it was not <laughs> an amazing day because I, I think people start working on their costumes sometimes months in advance. I'm sure. That sounds like a fun event to come to even if you don't have a pet. Absolutely. We, we get quite a crowd around here for that one. With that said, it isn't surprising that the Tompkins Square Dog Park is one of the most popular runs in New York City. The pets are plentiful, the community is engaged, and the surrounding area is full of the vendors and performers that make New York City a fabulous place for people and pets alike. To learn more about the Tompkins Square Dog Run, visit firstrunfriend.org. Or bring your dog by any day of the week and experience this thriving, pet-loving community for yourself. I'm Gina Ferranti, and you're watching The Bite-A-Wee Buzz.